I was actually told once that I was too exotic for a role, which talking about my sort of insecurities about my dual heritage made me just think, well, maybe this isn't the industry for me. But things are changing and I think that's really exciting. I'm Jessie May Lee and this is On The Rise. I always loved, you know, dressing up, but it was always something that I just loved doing with friends and things. And I loved doing school plays, but I never really considered that it could be something that I would actually end up being able to do as a job. Most of my time at school and college and things, I, I sort of thought, well, I'm going to go down a very different route. So I ended up going to university to study French and Spanish and I didn't have the best time. I, I didn't really want to go in the first place. So I ended up dropping out of the university and then having to sort of, you know, just sit down with myself and think, okay, what do I actually want to do? What do, what makes me happy? At the time I started working as a teaching assistant in a secondary school, which I loved. It was such an amazing job. And while I was doing that, I was looking after this family and one of the, the kids, he decided he wanted to um, audition for the National Youth Theatre. And I thought, oh, I'd, I'd quite like to do that as well. So um, I went along on the same day he did and um, just sort of got a taste for it and started to meet you know, other people of my age who were sort of thinking that they wanted to pursue a career in, in theatre and acting. And it was making those friends that really made me think, hey, maybe I can do this. And, and seeing loads of diverse faces, you know, it helped, it helped me back a long time thinking, well, being ambiguous looking and being mixed race, I felt like was going to make becoming an actor difficult. It ruined my confidence a bit because I think I'd go along to an audition and not be enough of anything. But then so slowly over time, I just started going to auditions and open castings whenever I could. Um, and I was just lucky. I was in the right place at the right time. So much of it, you know, this, this industry is who you know or being in the right place at the right time. And I was really, really lucky. Very first real audition. Oh, it was for, um, I'd seen this open casting for a TV show. They were looking for a, a mixed race actor. And um, it was, yeah, I, I'd only just done, I'd done a four week course of National Youth Theatre and that was it. And um, so I went along to this audition. It was obviously for a TV show and I was so nervous. I was, I was like, you know, properly shaking. And then after like the sort of the second time I went in, I just sort of thought, well, I'm just going to try and have fun with it because, you know, you can get yourself so wound up thinking, oh, am I doing that right? Am I doing this right? When really, you know, your job as an actor is to show, you know, show the team what you can do and what you can offer. And if, if that's not what they want, then that's OK. It's not about you being a bad person or being a bad actor or anything. It's just you not what they were looking for. So I think having that mentality was really helpful. I had some real <laughs> around the same time, some really bad audition experiences with, you know, even for things like little short films where I was actually told once that I was too exotic for a role, which was, you know, again, talking about my sort of insecurities about my dual heritage. Um, maybe just think, well, maybe this isn't the industry for me. But things are changing and I think that's really exciting, um, especially, you know, of a, an actor of colour, um, you know, to be able to think, hey, I can be in, you know, in a fantasy show, um, which is, like I said, something I never thought that I would be able to do. You know, I was the generation that grew up with Lord of the Rings like my brother and my cousins and my little friends we'd all we'd all run around in the park with sticks hitting each other i loved all the um you know the, the chinese martial arts films as well i remember watching crouching tiger hidden dragon over and over and over again and acting out the fight scenes with my brother so i, I loved all of that stuff and i loved sort of like dark fairy tales like pan's labyrinth and all these sort of fantastical world so obviously then when this show came around and the audition came around i was, I was so excited because the child in me was just jumping for joy because it was, you know, something that I really, really loved. So the role of Alina in Shadow and Bone came up and I remember looking at all the breakdowns and I saw that they were looking for a mixed race actor. I, I, I felt so connected to the character and one of the things that I really felt excited about was the fact that, you know, I could see that they'd made the change, they've made, you know, Alina into a mixed race character when she wasn't necessarily in the books and at first my thoughts were well why why are they doing that is that just to tick a box but then in the audition side there was the scene was 
Alina talking about her background and talking about her race and talking about her eyes specifically. And I was like, okay, they're not shying away from the, the, the less um, enjoyable parts of being mixed race and not shying away from the racism that the Asian people face. And um, that was really important to me. So yeah, I was really, really excited and, and just felt so connected to the character and I really liked her. Um, so yeah, and then after a couple rounds audition, I remember I'd been told, you know, in a few days time, you'll kind of hear the the answer. And I was here at home and I got the call from my agents. And I think we all just sort of, I don't know, screamed a, a lot. <laughs> I was so excited and then had to wait a few months before we actually started filming. So it was a very, very long, long summer. So when Archie first chemistry read for Mal, it was quite late on in the casting process. I think a few of us have been cast already. And um, I was doing chemistry reads with a bunch of different actors for Mal. And they were all so, so lovely and talented. But there was something that I felt was missing. Archie had initially auditioned, but then had got a different job, so, so didn't think he could do it. But then he came back in again and um, he, just, he just walks into the room. <laughs> And, you know, just like, oh, all right, I'm Archie. And immediately he just had that thing that that I couldn't quite explain at the time. You know, this sort of like warmth and vulnerability, but also this sort of rawness to him. It was seamless with Archie. He just fell straight into it. Um, so we had that first chemistry and I was really excited. And then he came back again. And after the second chemistry read, <laughs> I coaxed him into having lunch with me. And I sat there and I was like, oh, we're gonna have so much fun. And the rest of the cast are amazing. I've already met them. And, you know, talking about, you know, all of the exciting things that were gonna happen. And Archie had to say, Jesse, haven't got the role yet. <laughs> just to remind me. But then lo and behold, you know, a week later he got the part. So I was just so happy that we had this sort of natural chemistry as well. We're really good friends, um, which is so important to capturing this, you know, this beautiful friendship between Mal and Alina. I feel like the show raises some interesting questions. And I think, especially, you know, regarding the like relationships that Alina has, I think there will be lots of debate about what's right and what's wrong. And I, and I hope that people will watch the show and see this diverse cast and, and be able to find someone in the cast and a character in the show that they really relate to, because that is important. And I think it can, it can make the difference for someone, especially if you're going through the kind of identity crisis that so many people go through in terms of race and sexuality and, and things like that. And when you see those things that you've gone through being portrayed on screen, it makes you feel less alone. So I hope that, you know, people can watch this show and, and sort of feel seen and heard. I, I actually, thought I wasn't going to have social media, especially when the show came out, because because of, you know, it, it can feel maybe a bit invasive or that you owe you owe your following um, yourself. And that can put a lot of pressure on you, I think, to, you know, to go out of your way to, to create content or whatever. And I, and I think it's important for, you know, for my, you know, well-being to remember that, like, you know, I. I don't exist for other people and I exist for me and I want to be able to share my experiences and things from the show, behind the scenes stuff. So it, it does feel sort of bizarre um, to have, you know, people I don't know know who I am. And I think it will take some getting used to. Um, I'm quite private and I'm quite shy, but also at the same time, I am really proud of this show and I'm really proud of, you know, all my, you know, dear friends who are in it. So. In that sense, I'm really excited for it to come out and, and, I'm, and I'm sure people will love it. Over lockdown, actually, I wrote a few short film scripts, more just for fun and just for something to do. I really love film and I feel like if I were a better wordsmith, I would have written a book, but I'm just not. I'm way more of a visual person. And I think especially being so involved in the show and being on set so often in, in Shadow and Bone and getting to see everyone behind the camera and all the work that went into it, it was really exciting. And so, yeah, I, I would love to direct something one day. I think someone else would probably have to write the script, <laughs> but definitely something I'd be interested in doing. Okay, in five years, I think I would love to be 
um, you know, well, maybe working on my first, <laughs> my first um, directorial debut. Um, and I'd love to be living somewhere out in the sticks, in the countryside, just getting fresh air out of the city. Um, I'm fairly easily pleased, so <laughs> I don't really mind what happens to me. Um, but I hope I do get to have like more, more adventures and more experiences similar to what I've had in, in Shadow and Bone. But we'll see.